Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to teach you how to create these little vector accents. Now I know there's been some other tutorials out there that kind of cover this. Um, the way I do it is different um, and I think it's a little bit easier, maybe a little bit more customizable and really it's good to know multiple ways of doing things because you might pick up some new tricks from my tutorial versus somebody else's and that's good. The more tricks you know and you, the more tricks you have in your bag, the easier it is to do things when you need to. Okay, so let's start with a new shape. And what I want to do is I actually want to use the polygon tool, make a shape. Let's go in down into the contents, down in the transform, make sure it's centered. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to pick what shape it is afterwards, whether it be five sides, a triangle, or a circle. And if you do a circle, you just bring up the points to, you know, 300, and then it pretty much looks like a circle. But then I don't have to have, then I have the option of choosing the sides, and it's, it's pretty handy. But I don't need the fill in the technique I use. So let's go into the stroke, and let's make the stroke a little bit wider. And so how I like to do this is I'm going to do an expression to connect the outer radius and the stroke width. So let's bring this outer radius to 500 and the stroke width to 100. So let's add an expression. So Alt or Option click on the stopwatch. And I'm going to type 100 minus and then pick whip that stroke width. Then let's put all of this in parentheses and then times that by 5. And it's gone. It's disappeared because it's taking 100 minus content. So that's 100. So it makes 0 times 5 is 0. But what if I, if I come in here and keyframe the stroke from 100 down to 0, then watch what happens. Let's make that a little bit faster. Let's go through frame at a time it will create a little accent. And since it's a polygon, I can come in here and let's make it eight sides. And I can also come in just on this one keyframe, that's the only keyframe I'm using, and I can easy ease that just by hitting F9. And then there is a quick little shape accent. And to create more of them, you just duplicate them, change the size, and then offset the time. And there we have a nice little animation. Now in the example, I also had one that looked more like points coming out. And so we can make that too just as easy. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool and let's just make a rectangle. And I want it to be tall and skinny. Let's go into that rectangle. Zero out the position. And for the size, let's make it like 20 by 200. And so what I want to do is keyframe a couple of things. The position, actually let's have the position start at zero and the size start at zero go forward bring that size to 200 the second part and position i'm going to just bring that up and you can see it's kind of shooting out and then i also need it to now shrink down so then bring that back down to zero let's take a look at that okay so that's kind of the animation I want. You know, I'm going to go ahead and hide these other ones. They're kind of in the way. That's the animation I want for the initial rectangle. Now all we have to do is come into this and add a repeater. Go down to repeater. And you can see it made three repetitions. Let's come into the re transform settings. Change the position to zero. And then what I want to do is add an expression to rotation. So Alt or Option, click on rotation, and type 360 divided by the number of copies. 
and then I can change the amount of copies and automatically will do that for me. Now if I want this to start if I want this to start a little bit out more, then I can come to this position and have it start up. So it's there's a bigger circle. You just need to adjust kind of the keyframes. But that's basically all it is. So let's go ahead and look at all these together. And there are some little accents. So that's a quick and easy way of making these little vector accents. And of course, once you're done, if you want to turn this into a preset, it's super simple just to go up to animation and save it as an animation preset. Then when you need it, it's already made for you. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something new and cool. And we'll see you next time.